We are in the Florida Keys backcountry. Ooh, ooh. Got him. Got him. Look at the size of those snook. Just big snook everywhere. They're everywhere. And that's exactly what we got, man. They're everywhere. I'll just make a cast as far out as you can. Got him. Another nice one, dude. Here he is. Woohoo! Stephanie, that thing is massive. This is really secluded. I love it. There's nothing like being one with the Everglades. <laughs> you really want to be one with the Everglades? I do. Jump in the I'll water. Be floating around. Actually, no. I will be probably destroyed by a crocodile. They'll see me oh, floating around there's and they'll say, mm, here. here's a filet mignon coming right through. They're gonna think that's more like a ribeye. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We got oh hold tight charters on the boat today, so you know it's gonna be a good day. It is springtime here in the Florida Keys. I'm really excited because we got some really good weather. First thing we're gonna do today so we're gonna try to pull on some snook. Alex has been catching some massive snook up in this area that we're pulling up into. We're not using live bait. We got a nice little artificial bait right there. We're gonna be tossing these around. We are in the Florida Keys backcountry. We're really not too far from home, but as you can see, we have a whole mangrove shoreline. And then as we go down the shoreline, it opens up here into a channel and there's a lot of water flowing through this channel. So with that flowing water, there's a bunch of bait that's getting carried through here. And as I'm looking forward right now, there's snook ambushing on the bait that's getting pushed through this channel here. So I'm pretty confident we're gonna whack them here first thing in the morning. Ooh, ooh. Going after. Oh, got, got him, him. got him. He's coming, he's coming. So one of the biggest things with snook is you wanna try to pull them in as quick as possible, but at the same time, you don't wanna go too hard on them because of that right there. You break them off. That's a quick release, baby. That's what we do here. They got those sandpaper mouths and if you hook them too deep like I just did, that's how you lose them. So you wanna try to get them in quick, but at the same time, you don't wanna put too much pressure try to prevent that but so as you can see right here really slowly I'm just working the rod tip and I'm trying to make that artificial bait look real like he's just swimming through the water kind of just twitching that's essentially what I'm trying to do I'm not only trying to make this bait look real but I'm trying to put off that vibration in the water to get him just like that baby big snook Oh, coming down the gunnel. Stephanie, try to get over here. Here, I got it. Try to get over here with that net. Let's go. Oh, keep him out, keep him out. Trying to keep the rod tip low. That way he doesn't get caught around any mangrove shoots. That's exactly where he's going. Come on, Clay. Trying to keep the pressure on him. We saw a shark in here earlier. Oh, look. It's a big he's snook. Nice. This would be the first snook in the 24, too. I also want to make sure he doesn't chase through that leader. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come this on. is it right here though. Snook fishing in the Florida Keys backcountry. In the clear water. Right up inside go. of there. Okay. Dead first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, Dude, way to put That's us on him, man. So there's a particular way to hold these fish. What you wanna do is you wanna lip them like a bass first. And once you lip them like a bass, you wanna support them underneath his belly because if you just hold him from the jaw, oh, wow. you could potentially break his jaw. So you wanna hold him just like that. That's a good size snuff. Yeah. Alex called me yesterday. He said, dude, I got the day off. I don't have a charter. I'm catching these massive snook on artificials. So he said, let's take the 24 and let's go get them. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we got, man. <laughs> Just like that. So it cool, comes. man. Nice. 
Alex has got him on the artificial. Do you need me to do anything? How's it feel to actually pull on a you fish? Know, it feels really nice, dude. I haven't pulled on a fish in a while. <laughs> That's sick, <laughs> dude. Honest. <laughs> no wonder, now I know why people love this. You want me to net them or anything? Or? I could probably lift them. Okay. So it's pretty cool too that I learned about these snares. If you grab them right here, they stop moving. Huh. Yeah. Did he inhale that plug? Damn. Yeah, he did. Yep, and that's exactly what happened to the one that I just caught. And he just weared right through that leader. So this is what we're using right here. Basically, little 3,000 size reel. Do the 3,000s just because we like to keep the whole setup nice and light since we're casting and jigging a lot. Got some 15 pound braid, seven foot Key Largo custom rod, and then a 30 pound leader. Probably have about, I don't know, say three to four feet of that. And then we have the little plug like we were showing you guys earlier. And um, real simple setup, real simple fishing. And I just caught one. You're up next. Thank you. Let's see how that goes. See, this is what happens when you give Stephanie the rod for two seconds. Listen. Can't, you can't take her backcountry fishing. You, you can only take her offshore fishing. You can't take me offshore fishing because then you're always butt hurt because I'm always whipping your butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me you're up in there again. Be careful before you start talking too much because I see, see this I'm in your I'm going to be talking all day too. long, baby. Woo! <laughs> Dude, textbook Florida Keys backcountry fishing here, man. Oh, he just came off right there. I got that on That's video. fishing. Perfect. Stephanie's got her snook. I know, I know. <laughs> here he is. Nice job. Oh, yeah. I hope we can get him, man. You see, I got all the small ones out of the way for you so you could get the big one. <laughs> Stephanie, that Ooh. thing is massive. Look at that. This is just the same size as yours was. No, nah, that one's bigger. Are you kidding this me? This is so beautiful. Can I take a picture of you? Yeah. Look at that. You know how to fish, girl. Good. But talk about a way to start the morning, though. All right, he's kicking. Oh. There he goes. Wow, what a cool, cool Good job, Stephanie. So, the artificial bite is kind of turned off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch some live bait and uh, see if we can maybe catch a couple more snook. It's crazy, you can see so much from up here. Just big snook everywhere. So look at how cool this is. There's a crocodile just chilling out right there. And we're no more than probably about two miles from shore here in the Keys. A lot of people don't realize it, but these crocodiles, they get a little too close for comfort sometimes. But we actually have the sun right here at our eyes, so it's creating some glare over the water. Shout out to Waterland Sunglasses. That's how we cut down that glare. But even with sunglasses, it makes things really difficult. So just being up here on the tower, having that elevation really helps to just see down into the water. And uh, right now we're looking for live pilchards. What's so cool about the pilchards, not only do we use them for you know fish offshore, we're gonna use them here inshore to try to live chum up these snook. Alex is up in the bow with the cast net ready to go. Hopefully we can get a couple throws, load up the live well. That's a pancake, baby. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the power poles so that way we don't land on top of the net. Alex just blacked out right there. Nice job, dude. Put it in the center. Here, let, let some of the horn go. Wow, man, look at that. Here, lift up on that, there you go. You got the top? Yeah. Oh. We can't catch fish after that. We got problems. Wow, you killed it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> 
So Alex is up here. He's about to do some live chumming. And basically what we're trying to do is pull all these snook and tarpon up out of this creek now that that artificial bite kind of turned off. And he's just getting them real fired up. Same exact setup as earlier, except I'm using a live pilchard with a circle hook right there. Oh, I'm on. He's on. I'm on a snook. Oh, Good yeah, job. Baby. This is why we come. That's a good size snook too. Island Marauder. Especially in the, into the mangroves. You want to keep that rod tip low and throw Release them right beside like the boat, just like that. That's how you release them right there. I was going to say, that thing looked like a little goldfish compared oh, to the one I just got. Bro, you're going to call me out like that? Oh, Stephanie's on, Stephanie's on. Pull him out. Big snapper, actually. Yeah. Nice snapper. Is it? Yeah, it's a keeper. Well, I decided to beef up my tackle. Oh yeah, that is actually a nice right snapper. <laughs> that is a nice snapper. Look at that. You want you want snapper cut? Winner, winner. That's a dinner snapper size one winner. right there. There we go. Yeah. Let's keep them. Okay. Let's throw them in the live well. He's gonna have a buffet. There he goes, big one. Got it. Nice! Got him! Got him out, baby. You called it on the money, too. Oh, man. That was sweet. That is sweet. Yeah, that's a nice one right there, too, man. What a morning of fishing, man. That's unbelievable. How about that? So you can keep snook with a permit, but like I said, we entice people not to keep them because they're more so a sport fish. And there's plenty of mangrove snapper out here to keep if you do want to eat something. And in my opinion, the mangrove snappers are just as tasty as these snook, if not better tasting. Cool. I got a Goliath, right? Yeah, I do. Bring it in? Yeah. So this right here is a Goliath grouper. These things grow up to like 800 pounds. And what you want to do, since they are an endangered fish, you want to keep them in the water as much as possible. And uh, you just want to take out the hook while keeping them in the water to let them grow. And these guys will stage up in a lot of these mangrove parts where there's a lot of life. They eat snappers, pinfish, and they'll grow up to about 50, 60 pounds up here in the, in the Everglades. Very cool fish. There he goes. So cool. Snook just popping everywhere. Got him. Nice. Ew. Oh, Another nice one, one, dude. Another nice one. Oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> you come out here, I mean, people dream. Without a doubt. Like and how many have we caught today big like this? Like five of them, I would say. What's nice about catching them on live bait too is we're using circle hooks. So we catch them in the corner of the mouth every single time and that's just gonna help keep that line from chafing. What's better than one snapper? Two snapper, baby! <laughs> Give me some high fives. We got four. So right now we're cruising through Snake Creek, which the neighborhood to our left is Venetian Shores. It's highly sought after for the deep channels and it actually leads to the only drawbridge. So if you have a tower, easy access to the ocean and bay. But for those of you that don't know, I'm actually a Florida Keys realtor. That's what I do full time. Um, someone mentioned to me, they didn't even know I was a realtor. So. Um, he mentioned to like say it a little more in the channel. So here I am letting you guys know if you need any help looking for anything here, I'm more than happy to do so. And I'll add my information in the description below if you're looking.
All right, well, much later in the day today, thank God we hung on to a couple of these snappers. And just so you guys know, Alex, I believe he was rated like the number one fishing guide on the Fishing Booker app. So as you guys saw today, he's the real deal down here, man. And you know, as you guys can see, we caught the fish, but he's just such a good time. And Stephanie and I, any opportunity that we can get to fish with him, I mean, obviously we're gonna take up on it. So Stephanie's getting ready upstairs and then we're gonna do some tacos with these guys, but just an awesome day. Check that out, awesome little filet. So today intro fishing was phenomenal. I caught my personal best snook, but I also caught some mangrove snapper. I thought, you know, the last time we had it, it was really delicious. And I literally just went to the store, got a taco kit. Uh, Clay likes hard tacos, I like soft tacos. So I got a combo and it comes with your taco seasoning and your sauce. And then I just made all the uh, toppings. I cut them up, so tomatoes, onions, lettuce, cilantro, and then some store-bought guacamole. I really appreciate you. Awesome job. <laughs> Thank you. On catching the fish and preparing the tacos. These are delicious. Are they? I haven't mm -hmm. even tried. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Please don't forget about our clothing company, Veil Performance Gear. We have kids shirts on the mm -hmm. site as well. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Till next time, see you in the next video. Bye guys.